welcome back to my channel <laughs> thank you very much for clicking on this video thank you very much for taking time out to watch me do 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 um thank you guys for clicking this video as i said already and uh, today is not really much of a okay it's not a review first of all it's kind of like um watching me get ready but this is like an introduction to my soft glam kind of look so it's like a look that i would go to that it would just be so easy for me to do if that makes sense but the spin on it is that just yesterday i attempted the whole painting face thing and it worked out really well i was kind of shocked and quite impressed i must say it really came out really nice so yeah that's what we're gonna do today i've already done my moisturization and everything else so i'm basically on my way to my nephew's christening so this is the glam that i'm gonna do what i'm wearing is kind of like a sweater dress no not sweater dress it's like a sweatshirt midi dress situation because it's cold out here but it looks cute if i do manage to get a picture i'll insert it at some point but if not sorry but yeah so that's what we're gonna do so we've got some curly hair going on today she's quite on the low density side i don't know if i want to have her out or i'm gonna put it in one just for like a sleek situation with a curl at the back but yeah she's she's kind of nice as you can see i've already done my brows the first thing i'm gonna do is use my anastasia beverly hills um cream bronzer in the shade cool brown so we're gonna be using the anastasia oh wait a minute okay so because i haven't used um my sunscreen i'm gonna be using the invisible uv flawless primer from charlotte tilbury so it's this one here and it has um an spf of 50. oh that was a bit too much why did i go heavy with this yeah this is too much oh my god what the you could tell it's got a high spf because you can see the purple hue <laughs> So what I did yesterday, because I'm trying to remember the steps I took, and I don't know if I even need to go into this, but I'm going to use my Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter in the shade 8. So how are you guys doing? It hasn't been, it hasn't been that long, but I just wanted to record. I wanted to record yesterday, but my schedule was just... I mean, I, I was supposed to wake up early, and then I ended up being on the phone, and time just got out, just, yeah. So I'm just gonna use my foundation brush to blend her in. So it's just the main points where I actually want focal, like I just want glow. And I actually forgot to use my Maybelline Fit Me. What's wrong with me? It's like I'm nervous. Like <sighs> now we're gonna go back to the bronzer. I'm gonna use my Morphe E63 brush. Just gonna get into that baby right there. And we're just gonna make sure we go high right here. Oh wow, on camera she looks really dark, but in person it doesn't look like it's, but it doesn't look as pigmented. So then we're gonna go the top areas, because I'm not blending it out. I mean obviously this has been done many a times on YouTube, but this is just my attempt, second attempt. I'm gonna go into my nose contour, even though I should just use a small brush, but this is okay. Just slightly go into the brows without disturbing it too much. And then we're gonna go into the jawline just to hide that double chin. Okay, so let's start. Are we looking like, are we looking painted? Yeah, okay, good. So next, I have a choice of two concealers. Um, the one I did use is the Tarte um, Shape Tape Concealer in the shade 57S Rich Sand. And I can always go into my Black Pearl T1 Uoma Stay Woke Concealer. So this one is slightly a bit lighter but they're almost the same. But I did, obviously, because I used this yesterday, I'm kind of feeling I used to do the same thing so that it actually works out. So we're just gonna use this as our concealer. No foundation, just the, the flawless filter underneath. We're cutting that bronzer, just a little bit. We're just making sure that we're putting the concealer in places where we want to conceal. So this will be like my first concealer shade, if that makes sense. So obviously you can use a concealer of your choice. It doesn't obviously have to be the shade tape concealer. For the foundation, which is so... <sighs> I love the fact that I don't have to use so much foundation, which is just like... I'm using the uh, Soft Matte Complete Foundation from NARS, and I'm using the shade Marley Deep 6. And this just is... 
the best. It's not so matte that it dries you out. It's just so lovely. So I'm just gonna place this in all the areas where I haven't placed concealer. Just being mindful of what we've done already. And I'm just gonna go in between the bronzer and the concealer just here. So it's not too harsh. And I'm just gonna fill everywhere else. Well, almost everywhere because I'm not actually gonna get into all the nooks and crannies. When we start blending, the products start to move. This process here, obviously having to explain what I'm doing is just the longest part of it. And with this, as you're applying the different products, you're kind of giving it time to sit and sell it into the face to give you the ultimate coverage. So that's another thing why this kind of like technique is good. Because as you see, I hardly used that much foundation, even though it looks like I pumped a lot of the back of my hand. But it's still safe in products. So as that's done, I'm gonna grab my foundation brush some people use a sponge you can use a sponge if you want to you can use a brush i used a brush yesterday so it was easy for me to control the blend instead of starting with the bronzer which is the first product we used i'm going to go into my foundation i remember you've got parts where you've concealed you can still use your foundation brush or your sponge to blend that what's going to happen you're not going to have any harsh lines and the color of the foundation will kind of mix in with the concealer at that point so it kind of has like a seamless blend if that makes sense on top of that bronzer where we place a bit of foundation that kind of connects to the concealer and what you're doing as well normally when you have your do your normal routine where you put your foundation you put your concealer sometimes you, t you can to get more coverage in the inner corner of the under eye area leave this area here to sit and then blend out the bottom so that's what we're kind of doing okay and what's going to happen is that when you're blending that you're eventually going to slightly bring it down anyway so it's like you're you're just doing something you're just doing something so I'm gonna blend that and then go back to the bottom okay so we have blended all the foundation that we've placed I feel like I've lost a bit of bronzer here but it's fine what we're gonna do is just bam bam <laughs> anyway for my concealer I used a brush so I'm just gonna use this to stamp it out so basically everything I'm using today just to like beat the face is gonna be a brush. And because you've let it sit, all you have to do is just like blend, tap, and it's just done. And what I like about this technique as well is that you're not layering too much. You don't got your foundation, you know, you've got your concealer, and with me, another concealer. So I'm just gonna bring this up just a slightly higher so that where the light catches me, it bounces on the highlight area here. So it's not too low, and all you see is like a darker shade than a light shade. I'm just making sure we blend out that bridge which is nicely snatched at the moment, I think. Yes, I really like this technique. It's just explaining it makes it seem like it's a longer process, if that makes sense. I'm just gonna grab my like bronzer blending brush situation and now we're gonna go to the bronzer. So I'm gonna just get grab the bottom and just kind of blend it in. I'm gonna go into the cheeks and it doesn't matter if you've gone too high up because what's gonna happen if you know me you're gonna know i'm gonna go into a second concealer so <laughs> it's not an issue at all you see how naturally it just kind of like blends together yeah i haven't forgot my nose so i'll just grab my little brush that was the beauty bay um bake off brush but i can use it to like blend my bronzer and i'm gonna go into the e62 brush what i used to blend up my foundation was a morphe and aerial um brush set and i was using a 24 so i'm just going to use this brush to blend out the bronzer just bring it into my brow area so now i'm going to use which i used yesterday which i really liked the combination and, and i haven't used it in ages so i'm going to be using my fenty concealer in the shade 370 i think it's like a soft is it soft my concealer pro filter concealer in shade 370 yes it's light i could go lighter I'm just saying because we're trying to use minimal just put it in the areas where you want lifting and highlighting and this concealer goes a long way so do not put too much like I did yesterday and what I did as well I just kind of like used it to carve out my brows again just at the top it's weird but 
it kind of makes sense <laughs> if, if, I'm, if I'm making sense what I'm gonna do again use that same concealer brush to just blend everything together to make sure that everything is seamless highlighted and with this concealer you don't want to really let it sit too long because it will just stay there and it'll be hard to blend so as soon as you've got your highlighted areas done just go into blending it and you, you're gonna get the coverage that you need from it anyway and just to erase harsh lines you just go in go in with your foundation brush and just tap the end don't go in too hard because you don't want to remove the product so you can get a nice seamless situation so i'm just going to go into the inner portion of the eye making sure we get a nice blend so just a quick update we are now 10 away from 100 thank you very much to those who have just recently subscribed thank you very much for joining the family i hope you won't be disappointed so we're not far from the giveaway mark so share with your friends share with your cousins share with your sisters share with your uncles and your aunties and your mummies and your daddies oh let's get this going i'm so happy i'm so happy so happy very appreciative to those that have subscribed to my channel thank you for the support because obviously it's helping my channel grow and it's helping me grow as well so thank you <laughs> okay so i know we've got a harsh line here foundation brush your foundation brush is your friend in this technique if it's your foundation brush or if it's your beauty blender beauty sponge what you've used to place or what area of your sponge that you've used to place your foundation will help you when it comes to blending out harsh lines if that makes sense without taking away any product without shifting things around and not getting a nice like tone and blend if that makes sense but do we see do we see it just looks so nice and just like put together so now with this product is not really available via the website so you actually have to go to a should call it second party or third party website to actually buy this product obviously i got sucked into the hype of ordering the makeup forever ultra hd setting powder so i got this in the shade tan neutral so this is outer packaging it does look slightly different to stateside actually as in what they get because they get a black lid whereas we get a silver lid for some reason which is really weird this is the outer packaging and this is the component in its packaging i'm so happy i got this color because i was very close to getting a very warm color but this color is really nice as i said it's called tan neutral so it's 4.12 you get the choice to order the powder by itself or you get the option to order a powder puff with it so you get a powder puff you can get a powder puff separately and a powder separately or you can get them both together i think the difference is i'll probably put it on a on the screen just so that you guys can see powder puff is really cute it's not as shapey as i thought it would be in regards to being pointy but this is it here i did use it yesterday hence why it's got the product on it still but it's just the ease the the cuteness of it and just the yeah once you do open the um packaging you get a lid here which is cool obviously you can't really shake it in here and then use the product so what i did yesterday after trying to figure it out i just kind of emptied what i needed in the lid close it back so you don't spill any I'm just gonna grab the powder puff so once i've gone into it use the back of my hand to kind of like spread the product over the sponge and obviously at the same time taking off any loose excess if that makes sense i've allowed my concealer to kind of almost not set but dry down because once you put your concealer on it's kind of still wet if that makes sense so you want to kind of let it rest a bit before you go straight into it especially when you're using this kind of like with any same powder really you really want your concealer to kind of like not dry down but get to a point where it's not too shiny anymore and then you can go in powder because if it's too wet you go in powder you get the whole cakey thing you get the, the whole splotchiness of where you can see the powder's just sat and it's not blended out properly if that makes sense and I'm not baking. Oh, do you see that color? Uh, second, let me save you guys in. Do you see how this just smooth and sets like, and set, set. And then absolutely stunning. And the shape of it does allow you to get right into the sides of your nose but it's just here because my eyes are probably like quite small so i probably need like a longer pointy kind of version kind of like the tatty um the tatty beauty sponge 
I thought she was closing it down. What happened there? I'm gonna go into just a little bit more so I can do it under my chin and cut those cheeks, baby. I mean, I wanna go and say, let me do the rest of my face. Um, But just to show you, I'm gonna be using my Jaclyn Hill foundation, my Fenty bronzer in thick mint. And yes, I know she's dirty, but I kinda put my lashes on there. Glowish um, by Huda Beauty Luminous Pressed Powder in the shade 13 Extra Rich. And that's what we're gonna to use to finish the face. And I'm just gonna go and just put an eye situation. I'll shake, I'll do my face and come back with the final look. I thought I was showing you guys. I thought, let me just include the routine and stuff. But I thought I'll show you guys what I was doing. I was all holding up the product and going like this and just like But anyway, so far I've only used my Thick Mid Bronzer. I've gone into two shades of the Jaclyn Hill um, Cream to Powder Concealer, um, concealers, powder blushes. One in the shade Royal Flush, which is kind of like a, a red, color really nice and i used um the one i had used before which is you showed you guys before which is overruled and just to kind of like put everything together i used um mac raisin that's what i've done so far <laughs> but anyway continue watching and yeah i hope you enjoy you do i just can't get enough too caught up in your love i've been trying to forget but you won't let me something in my brain wants you i've been thinking for myself asking for help but nothing seems to work on you yeah When you're away, nights are sleepless. Do we need space? Yeah, maybe you're brave. Boy, you're my weakness. Giving we take the love that we make. It's my favorite drug. Too caught up in your love. I've been trying to forget, but you won't let me. Something in my brain holds you. I've been hanging by myself, asking for help.
So guys, this is the finished look. What do we think? You know, I was actually gonna slip this back into like, like a situation like that, but I don't think it really goes. This is the finished look. What do you guys think? I'm hands ashy, not too much. As you can see, there's a theme going on with the lips, the subtle colored eyes sort of situation with a little bright intersection kind of goes with my, my little dress situation that's going on. As I said, I'll try and insert a picture of a full length situation. It has like a, a side split as well, which is really cute. That's why I was kind of drawn to it and it's gonna keep me warm. I don't have to wear a jacket. Very nice and snug and warm and everything. So yes, <laughs> even the nails match. <laughs> In regards to the perfume that I'm gonna use today, I don't normally do this. But I have two perfumes that I love, are extremely strong and intense. And that is the Dior Joy EDP Intense. As you can see, it's almost done. Let's get me a new one. And I have the Dior Hypnotic Poison EDP as well. These two, <sighs> everything. So I kind of just go in with the Dior Hypnotic Poison. It actually reminds me of my mom because she's the one that got me into this perfume. Beautiful. And I just kind of like one, two, and that's it. Can you smell me? <laughs> but those two perfumes are like literally my go to, like, whenever I'm going out, not every day, because these perfumes are quite expensive, okay? But other than these two, I also like the um, Chanel Chance EDP beautiful perfumes those are like my go-to kind of like strong perfumes that i love and enjoy wearing yeah thank you very much guys for staying to the end of the video i really hope you did enjoy what i'm giving you guys right now again this is like my little go-to glam if that makes sense and it's kind of almost autumnal because of the kind of like blushy tones that i've used to kind of create this look and um, but let me know what you guys think in the comment section below to my subscribers oh thank you very much thank you very much for obviously coming back and to my new subbies welcome to the family yes welcome to the family thank you very much for clicking this video and i hope you won't be a stranger there are plenty videos that you guys can watch don't forget to subscribe don't forget don't forget don't forget to hit that thumbs up if you like this video so i'm not going to force you to like what you don't like and also um hit that notification bell so you're notified every time i upload a new video but i really do appreciate you guys i thank you so much and i shall see y'all in my next video.